Yeah, f of x is an antiderivative of f prime of x, right? So we can take the antiderivative of the red box equation, and that will give us a general formula for f of x, and then perhaps we could use this right here, this second initial value or whatever. Okay, so that's gonna give us f of x is equal to, well, let's see, taking the antiderivative, we get one over 20 x to the five, right? Add one to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, minus two, thirds x cubed, kind of same reason, plus three halves x squared minus five over four x, and then plus, well, we kind of like need a new constant, right? So I don't know, maybe we would use maybe c zero for this constant. You know, I guess we could have used like c one for this constant and c two for that constant. It's kind of like swings and roundabouts. Okay, so that's our general formula for f of x, but now we can apply this initial value. So let's see, that's gonna give us, oh, let's maybe say, okay, we're applying this initial value. So that's gonna give us a, an equation for C zero. So observe that we get zero is equal to F evaluated at one, which is equal to a 20th minus two thirds plus three halves minus five quarters plus this constant C zero. Now that's just like a big fractional arithmetic problem, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna work out all of the details. Oh, and I realized I copied this down wrong. This should have been equal to four. This should have been equal to four. Um, but I mean, that didn't really change any calculation until this like very moment. So we have four is equal to f of one, which is a 20th minus two thirds plus three halves minus five quarters plus a constant. So again, like, I don't know, you just do a big calculation. And in this case, you get 131 over 30. So we have C naught is 131 over 30. But from there, we can smash it all together with what we have above, and we'll have a final version for f of x. And that's, well, I'm essentially just copying everything over, but instead of writing C naught, I'm gonna write um, this 131 over 30. So 5 fourths and then plus 131 over 30. And that would be like the final answer or whatever. So notice that when you take repeated derivatives, sorry, antiderivatives with the power rule, you like continue to divide by these things. So I don't know, it becomes extremely fractional.